Hey everybody, Kim's Tectonic here and just got this snowmobile trailer and trying to replace these gas struts. So let me show you what I got. So here's one of the ones I've removed. As you can see it's bent there and they're not looking too good. Actually this one had broke too. The other one's still on it so I thought I'd give you a quick view. Now I was trying to order these and as you can see it didn't really give me the PSI or the pressure and the way you measure these you measure them from socket to socket when they're open all the way that's how you determine the length of the strut you need now I had to guess the weight as you can see this is an aluminum top so I ended up getting I don't know I think they were 80 80 85 something like that pounds i thought that should be sufficient so over here i've already replaced one and you can see what it looks like it comes with the new i'll show you what they come with but here it is and here's my safety so this is my safety leg in case these fail but let's get, I'll show you on the other one what's going on. So I got both these bolts, the nuts off of both of these struts, top and bottom. Now, I can't use this uh, safety bar on this side because I'm going to be pulling out the strut and that's where you hook the safety bar. So I've used one of these ski clamps to prop it open. I suggest you use something to hold it while you take this strut out or it could be like uh, losing your head or your fingers like the guillotine days just have to hammer those out I'm staying outside here just in case something goes wrong so let me get this one out so now I got that one out I had to hammer it from the back side to get it out now your thin part of your strut goes towards the downside and this mounts on the outside up here so let's go ahead and put these things in here they sent me that go up both ends now I've added a lock washer because the other ones had nylon locks nuts on them. So I'm just going to use a lock washer. So let's get those installed real quick. So now put this one on. You have to pull these clips out to get them over the, the ball like I've done here. I pulled this clip out and then this should... I'm going to have to put this little cushion on my back to raise this up just a hair to get this one up. Oh! And try to remember not to have that thing that you're supporting the trailer with when you raise it come fall down and hit you in the head like that just did. Ow. So anyways... That's a learning experience for y'all. Now I'm going to try 
the test, which means I have to take off the other safety side. Because now that both these enter in, i got to see if it's going to shut. I don't know. Oh, well, look at there. It's already off, so I guess that wasn't holding anything. So these are... These 85 pounders are holding it. Now I just wonder how hard it's going to be to shut it. Yeah, I like it. They seem to work just fine. So I hope this was helpful. To all you that got a clamshell. Now this is a clamshell caravan snowmobile trailer with aluminum lid. So there you go. That's all it takes. I'll leave the part number and stuff in the description box. So if you happen to have something like this and need to know what kind to get and there you go got this project done gas struts they're called gas struts prop shocks now this is a clamshell caravan double snowmobile trailer I was wondering which weight to get because the old ones didn't say the weight and I searched YouTube and everybody was doing the shocks that lift the, the bed which was no help to me I haven't even done that yet and they don't come with that shock this one you have to buy the kit to do it so that's going to be a later project but I got both these struts in and you've probably seen that uh, if you prop, the, prop it up to make sure when do something different than I did because that metal bar that I used to prop it up for safety me not thinking when I raised this bed to get it to line up the shock that thing of course came loose Bam, hit me right in the head. Not too smart. But anyways, like I said, I'll put the part number in the description. And I only come with one of these, which is for tying your ski down and threading it in. So I found one of these on eBay for I don't know 14 15 15 some dollars after it's all said and done which I didn't think was too bad I mean it's not good but it's brand new it's not a used one so I ordered one of those so now I'll have both of those and then if you look at this trim this molding that goes around the top both sides and it's a in case you're wanting to replace that stuff on your RV or trailer it's a one inch RV molding you can find it under RV supplies um, I'll probably be doing that next because I don't know if you can see that it's all shredded tore up missing in a lot of different spots so I'll be doing that next And that should about wrap it up. Um, doing your struts. If you want to know how to measure them, I think I said this earlier, but you measure from ball to ball, from end to end, when they're extended. Now this one wouldn't have been a good one to do because it was broke. And that's the reason I, instead of just getting one, the other one was good, so I bought two. I think it was... I can't remember now, but it wasn't too crazy. It was under $30 for two of them. So, all that those are in. And 
they're 87 pounds so if that gives you any thing of what to get and this thing what you got to figure is whatever you're lifting hopefully it don't weigh whatever you have to lift hopefully don't weigh more than 87 pounds or there won't be much help because when you go to pull this down it don't take nothing but when you go to lift it that's what's supposed to help you raise it so they could have been a little stronger probably uh, i could have probably went with a hundred and a quarter or something like that but these are working so i'm happy with that so i hope this was helped anybody that's trying to do this because i sure couldn't find it on youtube but i did google and stuff how to measure your struts and how to figure the weight i watched a bunch of info commercials but so that's all i got give me a thumbs up i hope this helped anybody that's doing this project and i'm going to be fixing this trailer up i got it for a good deal so and it's an aluminum frame aluminum lid and you know you try to find these I don't know new they're probably two three grand or more and I was trying to find something under a thousand dollars if I could and I did pretty good with this one I think because I almost cut that in half so but thanks for watching like I said thumbs up really helps and subscribe helps even more but you know what that's all I got and thanks for watching and as always Here's to my subscribers, and I hope I have more. And anyway, cheers to everybody. So, that's all I got. Like and subscribe again, I say. We'll catch you on the next project. I'm out.